generalize the formula first. General formula of the apparent frequency is this. N is equal to C plus minus velocity of observer divided by C minus plus velocity of source times N naught. So if source comes towards the observer, it will be C minus Vs in the denominator. Away, it will be C plus Vs. So don't remember it like that. Remembering the way which we have discussed just now will be much better. What we have remembered? Velocity of source in the denominator, velocity of observer in the numerator. Frequency should go up if they are approaching. Frequency should go down if they are going away. It might happen that one is approaching, other is going away. For example, this is source, which is going with, let's say, V1 velocity. This is observer going with velocity V2. Speed of sound is C, original frequency N0. So what is the apparent frequency? C. Now, the, who is observer? This is observer. Observer will come in the numerator. C plus V2 or minus V2? Minus. Because the because of this, frequency should decrease. C minus V2 divided by? C minus V1. C minus V1. Because of this also, frequency should increase. And it is in the denominator. So you should decrease the denominator. C minus V2 times N0. So this is N. Got it? So this is your school level stuff related to Doppler surface. See, source is V1 velocity. Source is going towards the observer. Frequency should increase because of V1. It comes in a denominator. So denominator will decrease so that N0 increases. That is a, that is a minus here. And it will be <coughs> minus in the numerator also because, because of that V2, which is observer, frequency should decrease. So you will decrease the numerator so that it decreases. And you will decrease the numerator denominator also so that it increases. So it tries to compensate each other. Okay. Now there are various scenarios. We are going away from the school. Write down. <coughs> Scenario 1. If wind is blowing, then what it will affect? Will it affect the speed of sound? It will affect. Because sound is traveling inside the air only, and air starts moving. Are you getting it? So, the speed of sound will be what? C plus VW or C minus VW? Depends on, Depend on the direction. Depend on direction. So, if, if wind is blowing like this and sound is also going like that, the speed of sound you will take as C plus VW. If wind is like this, sound is like that, C minus VW. So, effect of wind is it changes the velocity of sound. Because that's a medium itself. Getting it? So instead of C, you have to write that in all the formulas that you have written. Any <coughs> doubt? Okay. Can the source be observer? <coughs> How? What? So can you say when there is an echo that the source... I gave an example, right? The dog yeah. barking. He was barking and he is hearing his own sound. I thought that a dog is that side. So he keep on barking. Right? So that thing can happen. When I am speaking, I am able to hear myself also. <coughs> right? So source can be observer. Okay? There are many such scenarios. <coughs> Write down. Effect of reflection. So 
So when reflection happens, reflecting surface acts as observer initially. So what will happen? First you take reflecting surface as if it is observer. Can reflecting surface move with some velocity? It can move. So assume as if observer is moving. Are you getting it? So completely treat that reflecting surface as if it is observer. Find out the frequency which that observer as a reflecting wall will observe. Then it will reflect the same frequency back. Now it will become the source. And you have to account for the velocity now also. Then now that will be velocity of source. Reflect the same apparent frequency. Then now it will become Source. Getting it? Now it becomes source, observer could be the final observer. Huh. So what will become the square being subtracted? We'll talk about that, we'll take examples. <coughs> That's all. Okay, so we'll take one example. We'll take just one example, I'll put each and everything in that cell. Any doubts here? No doubts? Okay. 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 This is wall. Wall is moving with certain velocity. Let's say this is V1. Okay. This is a vehicle. Someone. Param. This is Param. Param is moving towards the wall with VB. Okay? Wind is blowing in this direction. VW. Speed of sound in still air is C. Got it? He is shouting and he is shouting with a frequency of N naught. Okay? The sound get reflect of, reflected off from the wall. What frequency he will hear after reflection from the wall? It's, a, it's just two step solution. It's not very complicated. So step number one is what? Wall is the observer. Hmm. You can refer the equation formulas. Wall is the in step number one, wall is the observer, param is the source. Right? Speed of sound is what? What will take speed of sound as? C plus V W. C plus V W. Now both are approaching. So they will contribute to increase the frequency. So N will be equal to speed of sound plus velocity of observer. Who is observer? V1. V1. Divided by C plus V W 
minus V2. Is and not. How many of you got this? Okay. So this is the frequency the wall will receive as a source. What frequency wall will reflect back? Same. This frequency n will be reflected by the wall. But now wall is the wall is source. And uh, roll reverser. This spelling looks weird. The final frequency, guys, keep quiet. Now, what you will take speed of sound as? Wind is this way, sound is coming down like that. So, C minus. Who is, who is source? Wall is source, this is observer. So plus V2 or Vp divided by C minus Vw minus V1. That times N. That times N. And what is N? C plus Vw plus V1 divided by C plus Vw minus V2. How many of you got this? Fine, so this is what the frequency. And the chapter is over, syllabus is over. So pressure waves. Yeah, pressure waves. Where is pressure waves? So it's there in the module so and the music. <laughs> See, it is there. I know it is there. See. Listen. <laughs> I want you to learn that when you solve numerical, okay, it will be a part of a numerical. They, they, there's a concept of intensity of the wave also. There's a derivation of that as well, okay. Solve the numericals corresponding to the syllabus of the NCRT first, okay. No point telling you the extended topics and you're not even doing the basics first, okay. If you're able to solve the basics, then we can extend it. I mean, it will hardly take 15-20 minutes to do the extended topics. But I don't want to keep dumping a lot of information. Ye padlo, ye bhi padlo, ye bhi padlo. Hai. Chalo, karta hai. Give me uh, the center module if you have so center module for waves. So, but the DPP is high pressure you mark it right now. Okay. If you see the past archive, they, they don't go beyond NCIT curriculum. We'll do some advanced level questions. Okay, guys. This is J Advanced 2017. Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, wait, <laughs> Stationary source emits the sound of frequency. I'm not going to write each and everything, okay? Listen to each and every word carefully. A stationary source emits this frequency. The sound is reflected by a large car approaching the source with a speed of, the velocity of car is given, 2 meter per second. So stationary source emits this frequency, the sound is getting reflected by the large car approaching the source with this velocity. Okay, The reflected signal received by the source and superposed with the original. Listen. The reflected signal is received by the source and superposed with the, with the original. What will be the beat frequency of the resultant signal? Beat frequency. The velocity of sound is given as 330 meter per second. It's an integer type. 
Hello, you got six? No, you're not getting. Let go. The car is approaching the observer, which is stationary. You should be drawing the diagram first. Okay. Car is traveling with two meter per second. So the frequency the wall will receive is um, wall is observer right now. So 330 minus sorry plus two divided by 330 into 492. This is received, this will be transmitted back and now what this guy will receive is speed of sound this is what <coughs> right after reflection this times n1 and n1 is this this is much simpler than what we have done yeah. And the beat frequency is what? Original frequency minus N2. Minus N2 or N2 minus this, whatever it is. This is mod of that you prefer. That's all. This is J advanced. It comes out to be 6. They are very big uh, word problems, so I can't.